he gonna right. get a fair trial for we hang him. Go through due process. A lot of white folk got lynched, especially on the frontier. But mm -hmm. a the Emmett Till anti lynch bill does not require a mob. One, <clears throat> two, it doesn't require killing. Three, so how is it a lynching it bill? A, yeah, three, it can be a kidnapping, and four, it can be a beating. In other words, it is set up because of something unique. It's the first time in American federal criminal law where they interject sexual orientation as a specific category of victim. Now, what you have in a crime, in other words, let's say a guy broke up with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He goes out with his homeboys and they go to a club and he's dancing. He's getting a little full of it because he's feeling down and he's dealing with a PYT, pretty young thing in a tight skirt, hoop earrings, long braids and all of this. And they're exchanging spit somewhere in the shadows. And he looks down and Miss Thing has got an erection. He goes, whoa what in the world uh, are uh -huh. you right and he busted in the jaw and maybe he splits the lip that's now federal lynching what judge wait a minute let me, let me reiterate this for the audience what judge joe brown is saying they're at a club and the gentleman who thinks he's dancing with a female discovers that this female is a biological male and the knee-jerk reactional response from the male is to off her in the face because it's like, whoa. Bam. What is this? Right. That's federal so lynching. That's, that is considered federal lynching where there, there's no rope involved, there's no murder, and there's no mob. So this new yeah. definition of quote-unquote hate crime has been established using the name of Emmett Till. Wow. Yeah, and I, I've i talked to Dr. Clenora Hudson Weems quite a bit. In fact, we chat once or twice a week. She's a friend of mine. I've known her for 30 years. Emmett right. Till's mother introduced me to Dr. Weems about 30-some years ago, and I used to talk to Emmett Till's mother. And they would be highly insulted with this bill uh, with the way it is. So it's absolutely astonishing how we got bamboozled where they are going back to the black communities or any other community where they happen to be elected and they're telling the black folk, we did something for you. We got a federal lynching bill to protect black folk like it's needed. The night riding statutes that are dating from the 1870s. I mean, for goodness right. sakes, how much, what do you want? So we did all this for you, but nobody reads it. Or it's like Obamacare. You give mm -hmm. Obama a lot of care for the medical stuff. Obama did not draft it. He had absolutely nothing to do with it until his trust fund out of Indonesia invested heavily in Blue Cross. The son, grandson of one of the Blue Cross founders, a doctor, Bill Frist of Nashville, Tennessee, who was Republican mm. Senate Majority Leader, drafted what is known as Obamacare in 2003. He couldn't get it passed. But when Obama's trust fund invested heavily in Bill Frist family business, which is Blue Cross, then Obama got interested in it. It was an Indonesian trust fund, so American law couldn't touch it. And Obama supported it, and it was adopted in 2010, and Bill Frist promptly resigned because now his family is guaranteed to be billionaires for the next few generations. Right. And it does need to be changed, but see... We stupidly go along, black man came up with this and evil white Trump and evil white folk, they trying to destroy it. No, if you get into it, it's horrible.